Starting things off with a look once again out at South Padre Island. A beautiful afternoon there to escape the heat anyway. But you can kind of see some of these towering clouds off in the distance. That's some of those showers and thunder showers that have been offshore. They're trying to make it towards us, but they're having a hard time doing so. We still have quite a bit of dry air aloft as you get real close to the coastal area. So if we see any pop up showers today, I think they're going to be very isolated and very few and far between as the sea breeze boundary marches westward. In fact, the computer model here not really picking up much of anything except for right as we get to about four or five o'clock. Seeing some of those showers and thunder showers right on the Rio Grande there from just south of McAllen over towards Rio Grande City. Uh, again, anything that pops up, it should not last long, but could drop a brief heavy downpour before they move along. But just a 20% chance, and that's mainly for the mid and lower valley. So upstairs till we have high pressure off towards our southeast, high pressure off towards our west. Both of those are keeping things under control for our weather. So what little showers we see today will all come to an end tomorrow as the high pressure will, will back kind of reinforce itself, not just over us, but all out over the Gulf waters as well. And rain chances look to be pretty skimpy after today going through the rest of the seven day period. The bigger story for today once again is the heat index, what it feels like out there. You take that temperature and you take all that humidity and it is going to be up around 110 to 115 again this afternoon. So of course the same rules as always. Check the back seat, stay hydrated, make sure your pets have plenty of shade and water. And of course, tons of sunscreen is going to be needed. You have to apply it and apply it often. We have heat advisories for all of, or at least the, all of the Gulf Coast of Texas, all of East Texas, a lot of Central Texas, and even parts of the Big Bend getting in on it today. And then for us, it's from 1 o'clock until 7 o'clock this evening that we have the heat advisory here for all, again, except for South Pottery Island, but even on the island today, it's going to feel like about 105 or 106 or so. So just be prepared for that. No matter where you are, you're going to need to take extra precautions. Slight chance of those uh, afternoon showers for the mid and lower valley. Temperatures are right around 100 to 105 inland, near 90 degrees there at the coast. Those winds out of the east at times, gusting up around 20 to 25 miles per hour. 88 on the island today, surf running 86 and 1 to 2 feet, and that rip current risk is back to low. And the UV index is very high, which is down a little bit from the extreme, but still means that without any sunscreen, you can burn in as little as 20 minutes. All right, out in the tropic here, we still have this area here that is now Invest uh, AL96. So in other words, the Hurricane Center is watching this one very closely with a good uh, likelihood it will become a system over the coming days. We now have Tropical Storm Lee. Lee is just barely a tropical storm on the verge of becoming a Category or 1 hurricane, which we do expect to happen later on today. And over the coming days, it's expected to become a major hurricane as it moves across the Atlantic towards the Caribbean. Starting to get a pretty good little spin there. In fact, it's been looking better and better defined as we've gone through today. 70 mile an hour winds gusting up to 85 and moving west northwest at 14. So the track official from the Hurricane Center has it again becoming a Category 1 hurricane later on today. Category 2 hurricane by early tomorrow and then working its way to becoming a Category 4 hurricane by 7 o'clock on Friday evening, if not sooner, and maintaining that Category 4 st status as it gets there into the Caribbean. There is Florida, and right now the computer models still want to take it and curve it north and take it away from the U.S. Still a long ways to go. If you notice the clock there, that is Monday. Computer models out to next Wednesday still have it just kind of barely into this area here. So we've got a long ways to go yet. Mr. Mike, kind of a friendly reminder, peak hurricane season is not until September 10th. So 20% chance of a couple of showers here and there this afternoon, not looking real promising, but hopefully in your backyard. And then we just go hot, dry and humid for the rest of the week into the upcoming weekend, early next week. And those heat index values are gonna stay high all the way through the period. Would not be surprised to see another heat advisory for tomorrow afternoon. Don't forget, folks, head on over to valleycentral.com. Register to win this beautiful uh, generator, courtesy of Mott's Building Materials. Always a good thing to have this time of year. We'll have the drawing at noon on September 15th. So you've got, what, about nine, ten days, something it's left? Sorry, uh, next week. Yeah. yeah. So uh, a great thing to have. Good luck, everyone. Valleycentral.com is where you head.